Bienvenidos a Daily Cigar, I am Lizardo and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the top 5 mistakes that cigar smokers make. And I see this a lot with beginner cigar smokers but also with experienced cigar smokers. And avoiding this mistake will definitely enhance your cigar smoking experience. So let's start with number 1. Storing cigars properly is something that I see a lot of people are struggling with and I really don't understand why. It is very straightforward. You gotta keep your cigars at a certain humidity and a certain temperature. I think the best way to tackle this problem is divide the cigar smoker, divide cigar smokers into two. You either a person who smokes cigars once a week or once a month or very rarely, or you're a person that smokes cigars quite often or enjoy storing your cigars, you know, having your own humidor, keeping cigars, you have a little stock there and whenever you feel like it, you grab one. If you are the person who smokes very rarely, then I'm sure you just go online, buy your cigars and smoke it within two, three days. Or you're able to go into a shop and do the same thing. Normally when you get them from, you know, online or even a store, they'll come in a little sealed pack, sometimes with a boveda pack inside, which would keep the humidity perfect for a couple of maybe even weeks sometimes and all you have to worry about here is temperature so make sure you keep your cigars between 18 to 21 degrees celsius and then if you're on the other side where you want to keep your cigars at home or you're a frequent smoker and you want to have you know a lot of cigars available ready there for you then storing them in humidor is the best thing you can do you can also use like tupperware i have videos about that uh, you can even use humidity bags, Boveda cells, and uh, like a Ziploc bag, basically. A Ziploc bag, uh, something that is sealed, and you just put your cigars in there and you put a, a Boveda pack inside and you're fine. Same thing as when you buy it online, all you have to worry about is where you're gonna put your cigars. Just keep them in a cool, dry place, and you'll be fine. If you have a humidor, the biggest mistake I see a lot of people make with, you know, having humidors is when they buy them, you have to season them. And a lot of people do this and they do it properly. You know, there's always instructions and how to um, season a humidor, but a lot of people rush this process. I always say, make sure you leave it three to five days. If you, if you can a whole week, let the humidor do its thing. Let the wood suck up all that moisture, release whatever it has to release, and it will become an equilibrium of humidity inside that humidor that when you put your cigars inside, it will just rest at ease. As long as you do this too, you won't have no problem. These are mistakes that I see over and over again. A lot of people asking me questions about it. So just make sure you store your cigars properly. I will be doing more videos about cigar storage. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because those videos are very useful and a lot of people make mistakes on them. This is something that I see a lot of people doing wrong. And I mean, a lot of people. New cigar smokers, I understand why, you know, I understand. But experienced cigar smokers, people on TV, on YouTube, everywhere, they're doing this wrong. There is a reason why they tell you to toast the foot of the cigar. And that is, your cigar is chilling in your humidor at 20 degrees Celsius temperature and 69% humidity. He's just chilling there, having a great time perfect conditions and then you grab a lighter especially the blue flame lighters they produce a lot of heat a lot of temperature and then you just go there and really close to it and stick to it and then just burn it and you put it in your mouth and flames are coming up this is wrong you shouldn't do that what you're doing is taking a cigar that is at its optimal conditions bringing it to heat very high heat very quickly you're just burning your cigar what you have to do is toast it. You keep the lighter far, far, far enough so that the heat starts to heat up the tobacco, the tobacco, the oils, the cigar will come to a temperature, it will, you will see it, it will light itself. And you will start seeing the smoke, then you'll be able to take your puff and your cigar is lit. It took its time, the cigar came to temperature, the oils came to temperature. When you take that first puff, you will feel the enjoyment. You will feel all the flavors that that cigar is going to give you. When you're putting it too close, you're burning that cigar, you're burning all the oils. 
you're charring it. When you take the first puff, it's just char that you're going to taste. That is not good. And I see this a lot, especially in Hollywood. I think Hollywood had a lot to do with this. Movies, you see the, you know, the cigar smoker there, just lighting his cigar and boom, boom, boom. You see these flames come. That is wrong. Hollywood had a lot to do with it. And I think especially new people in uh, coming into cigars, I think that's, that's how they think it should be done. It does look cool, but it's wrong. This is another mistake that I see happens a lot and it happens to the best of us. Sometimes I'm distracting myself and I just go and cut a little bit too much, but I see a lot of people doing it over and over again. And you have to be really careful because the way that the cigar is rolled is rolled in a way that it end up in the head of the cigar. And then they put a little piece of tobacco, which they call a cap on top of it to seal it all so that it doesn't unravel. When you cut too much of that cigar, then that little cap that is holding the whole thing together, you're basically taking it off. And then what's going to happen is your cigar will slowly start to unravel. The wrapper will come off and then the cigar is ruined. Really, that's what happens. Your cigar is ruined. You can try and smoke it, but you're going to have little pieces in your mouth. You're going to have the cigar unraveling. The taste is going to change. It's going to be a headache. All you want is to cut a little bit of that wrapper leaf, the little cap that they put on just a little bit. Just open the cigar so that you can have enough air coming through. Then when when you're lit, your, you, when your cigar is lit, you will have enough smoke coming through. And it's always better to cut a little bit less than too much because if you cut if you didn't cut enough then you can just come back around with your cutter and cut it again but if you already cut too much then that's it it's gone your cigar is going to start to unravel and the experience is ruined this one this one happens a lot to people who come from smoking cigarettes for example when you're smoking a cigarette you know, you take puff, 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 you take a little break, puff, 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 a little break, puff, puff, you want to finish that. Cigars are completely different. You have to give it time. As I mentioned earlier, when you're lighting your cigar, you have to let the leaf, the oils warm up slowly. Same thing when you're smoking your cigar. You got to give it time. So you take two puffs, two, three puffs, give it a break. Let the cigar cool, let the smoke come out, let it come back to room temperature before you take out your next puff and it doesn't have to be too long you know 30 seconds a minute minute and a half it depends on the cigar you're smoking if it's a thinner cigar if it's a thicker cigar but on average you're able to hold the conversation you know here i am already a minute talking and i haven't taken a puff and it's still smoking still smoke coming out <music> This is a mistake that I see that it happens often, but it's nothing, you know, I don't think people do it purposely. I think it's just misunderstanding. When you pair a cigar, when, when you're smoking a cigar and you're drinking something or eating something, you gotta think about the overall picture. So if you are smoking a light body cigar, something that is light in strength as well, then you need to pair with something that is not as strong. So in this occasion, I'm smoking a Columbus Azul, which is a light body and light strength cigar. And I'm drinking a still little bit of coffee here. Very light coffee. We call it Guayoyo in Venezuela. It's a very light coffee. You just get the hint of coffee and, and the fruitiness of the coffee. Very nice. You can you know smoke the cigars when you're eating fish, which is light again. You know, the flavors are not strong, not too much fat on the fish a white fish perfect with this cigar but you can also pair a cigar like this with tea you can pair cigars with coffee with whiskey with brandy with wine so it all goes to how strong your cigar is if you go strong flavors like for example some cigars will have some peppery flavors some chocolate flavors you know very strong very pronounced you can pair those with again with chocolate if you have a chocolate flavor a note on your cigar and you pair with a bit of chocolate perfect if you have a strong coffee note on your cigar you can pair it with maybe an espresso that would prone you know bring the flavors out and it would be very pronounced on your palate but you can also you know like wine when you have something fruity some acidity all of these flavors you can think about what you're drinking to what you're going to smoke 
cigars they have flavor profiles of leather pepper chocolate coffee uh, hay manure many lead many 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 flavors so wine with something that has lead maybe a bit of leather it would be a perfect pairing with a red wine amazing so think about those things when you're smoking a cigar when you're smoking and eating or smoking and drinking even when you're nibbling with you know olives or cheese or something think about these kind of things because these will definitely elevate your experience it will make the flavors more pronounced the oils the fat all of these things will you know bring a concussion of flavors and it will also awaken your palate and make the experience much much more enjoyable so in this video i just share with you five mistakes that i see happening a lot and it's not just me who sees them this is these are common mistakes so if you just watch this video make sure you watch out when you're doing this remember keep your cigars stored properly light your cigar slowly toast the foot of the cigar so you, that you give it time to build that temperature for the oils to be ready and that way you can taste the proper blender the master blender intended cut it properly so you don't have any problems at the foot little pieces coming out unraveling nothing like that take your time smoke your cigar slowly again the temperature think about that temperature don't let it get too hot let the oils come up to temperature slowly every time you take a draw you'll be able to pick up those notes from those oils from the terroir where that leaf was groaning and then never forget about a good pairing because pairing a cigar will with something that works perfectly will enhance that experience and will make any cigar moment that you're having any of your you know cigar experiences 100% better I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have had any of these problems before let me know in the comments below and if you have any other tips that you know I can learn from or anybody who's watching the video make sure you leave it in the comment below but I'm going to give you a video over here to help you as well learn more about cigars how to taste them how to enjoy cigars better thank you for watching and in the meantime don't forget to smoke less but smoke the best cheers